BLB and I am back again with another Trader Joe's review. Today I'm going to be discussing something that is gluten free and let's see, is it vegan? Because I don't want to lie and tell y'all that it is vegan. It's funny, it doesn't say it's vegan on here, so it may not be vegan because Trader Joe's pride themselves. Oh, I lied. It says vegan right at the top right corner. So, it is vegan. So that's a good thing for y'all that are vegan. This is the Tofu Scramble with Soy Chorizo. Okay, let me show you here. It is vegan. Tofu Scramble. I'm sure y'all have seen this in the freezer section. Gluten-free. Um, and as I said, I've been trying to eat um, more things that's gluten-free just to test out my stomach, see what's going on with that, see how I'm feeling about gluten-free. But onwards and upwards about this uh, tofu scramble. First and foremost, let me just tell y'all. I am not a tofu girl. I do not really enjoy tofu. The consistency to me is very weird. It's like chewy, rubbery, squishy. I don't know. It's a little weird. Um, and I understand there's different what forms or whatever tofu there may be. And they say it's based on how you taste it. But I'm not really a tofu person, but I was like, you know what? Let's just have an open mind and try this. It's in a scramble. Maybe they've softened it up, marinated it, whatever they did. It's probably great. Here is my initial reaction with trying this tofu scramble. Check it out. Okay, so I initially tasted it when I first was cooking it just a little bit, and it didn't taste too tofu-y when I first tried it, but let me take like a real bite. Um, I did taste that it was a little bit bland, like it didn't have that much oomph to it as far as seasoning, so I did add a little bit of uh, chili lime and the elu uh, seasoning, so let's see. Yeah, that punched it up quite a bit. And I know that it's vegan and it's gluten-free, but I did add a little bit of cheese. Mm. It's pretty good. It's pretty hearty with veggies, the peppers, the spinach, that sort of thing. So I do like that, as you can see. Still very hot. <laughs> The tofu, it's tofuing in some sense, right? Like, you know, it's tofu and it's not an egg. But the chorizo, soy chorizo for vegan option is always pretty good at Trader Joe's. So, the soy flavoring, uh, the soy chorizo flavoring with... The tofu balances things out and don't make the tofu too obviously like squishy and weird that I normally hate that consistency. So all in all, if I had to rate it out of a 10, I think it's a nice little vegan bowl. You know, you can tweak it and do your own thing, but I would buy it again. Um, before having to seasoning season it up and add a little cheese just because that was a preference, I'd say I'd give it about seven and a half because the season was lacking but the consistency and the bits of it and vegetables of it is good so seven and a half because it was definitely lacking on the seasoning okay so you saw my reaction it isn't bad um it definitely could use some seasoning right trader joe's we all know lack on seasoning for certain stuff some things it's like baby you need a little soul in this because this is so list you hear me this thing here it has okay so let me tell you what's inside of it it's vegetables chunky scrambled tofu soy chorizo and vegan cheddar style shreds now I've tried the soy chorizo from Trader Joe's, and it's pretty good. I make an amazing vegan um, soy chorizo, like Mexican-style dip, and it is amazing. Then I've tried the vegan-style cheese, right? 
vegan cheese is vegan cheese. And then there's the scramble of the tofu that I'm usually not a fan of, and then the vegetables. I can tell y'all that they do not lack on the vegetables, that's for certain. But the seasoning is not there as it should be. But as, if you add like a little bit of like chili lime or elu, um, sprinkle from Trader Joe's, baby, it's on one. And I ain't gonna lie to you, I didn't leave it as um, being vegan. I ended up actually adding some <laughs> regular cheese to it because normally vegan cheese, you can tell if it tastes some sort of cheesiness whether it's vegan or not, but it didn't taste like they put a lot. It tastes like they put a sprinkle, and I like cheese in general. Um, and for those of y'all that have been following me, know that I'm not vegan. I just try different things. So I ain't gonna lie, I added a little bit of funk to it with some um, seasoning, and I added some extra cheese. And it ended up being good. It actually wasn't bad. Would I buy it again? I probably would buy it again. If I had to rate it, I'd say out of a 10? I don't know. I think I had said before that it's about... Probably like a 7? I say 7-ish, somewhere around there, because the season lack. And I just feel like if I'm out and about and I ain't, and this is something quick that I'm supposed to be able to pop in the microwave or whatever to eat, I ain't got time to be trying to figure out where I can get some spices to make it taste any better. And then secondly, it just, I mean, it is vegan, but I just wish it had more flavor. That's basically essentially why I'd give it a 7 out of 10. But all in all, I don't think it's bad. Now, I should tell y'all, um, this is a disclaimer. So, I'm being honest with y'all, and y'all know I like to give it to you straight. This thing, I know I have my own stomach issues, but this thing will make you... It may be sensitive to the stomach, okay? You may feel like your stomach can tolerate it or cannot tolerate it, if you know what I mean. And the reason why I'm putting that disclaimer out there is because I actually spoke with this holistic doctor that I go and see for acupuncture, and I tell her about, like, the things that I eat because we're trying to figure out, like, my whole stomach situation. And she was like, you know what? I've tried that before, and it made my stomach hurt, too, and it bothered me as well. So, <laughs> I just want to tell y'all, I don't know, maybe for people that's vegan, they may know more about me uh, uh, more about this, <laughs> sorry, than, than I do, like, maybe the tofu kind of sets you off or something, I don't know, so just tread lightly with that, try it at home, it does taste good, but try it at home just in case you need to be near a restroom, so that's my honest review about this, let me know how you feel about it.